Welcome friends to week number 8 of the Muskrat Link Sim Tour. Today we play at Atkinson Resort and Country Club in my home state of New Hampshire. This is a special double episode as we will cover both round 1 and round 2 action. Since we have so many new subs here on the channel, I want to make sure we are all familiar with the series and up to speed on just how cool and unique it is. I've got some highlights from each hole in round 1 running in the background for us, so let's jump right into the action. The Muskrat Link Sim Tour is based on a script that we wrote that will simulate golf tournaments for us given we input accurate course data and difficulty. This means that I can put my game up against the best golfers in the world each week at the world's best courses and it's all based on PGA Tour advanced metrics so this is what the pros will actually shoot on these courses. Each week we play a tournament with a day 1, then make a top 60 in ties cut shrinking the 100 golfer field down for day 2. When day 2 concludes, golfers are assigned points based on their performance. These points are accumulated over the 10 week season and are used to determine who plays in the Pro Tour with the big guns. The Muskrat Link Sim Tour is broken into two different leagues, the Pro Tour and the Cornfield Tour. You will see all your favorite professional golfers in these leagues fighting for promotion and hoping not to get relegated. At the end of week 10, the top 15 point earners on the Cornfield Tour are automatically promoted to the Pro Tour. Then positions 16 through 35 on the Cornfield Tour and the bottom 30 finishers from the Pro Tour battle in a 3 week playoff where the top 15 finishers earn or retain a Pro Tour card next season while the other 30 are back on the Cornfield Tour. Now that you are caught up on how this all works, let's talk about the first 8 weeks. I currently sit right above the bubble in 13th place on the Cornfield Tour, so I am just hanging on to a top 15 spot that will earn an automatic Pro Tour card next season. My best results are a T17 in Week 2 at Oakmont Country Club, a T5 in Week 6 at East Lake, and a first place masterclass at Blue Jack National in Week 3. We also feature a major in Weeks 5 and Weeks 10 that offer double points. This final Week 10 Major at Kiowa Island will be the deciding event for me this season, and the pressure to perform will be colossal. There is bound to be some major movement across the board that week, but we have this week's tournament at Atkinson and next week at Riviera before we play the final Major. I am extremely proud of the work and creativity that we've put into this electric series. You will not find anything near as cool or as unique as this on YouTube, so leave me a like and subscribe if you have not already. We do so many cool things here on Muskrat Links, help grow our awesome community by sharing our videos with a friend. Now, with round 1 winding down at Atkinson, we find ourselves in a very strong position near the top of the leaderboard. We easily made the cut, but since this is an easy course compared to most of the PGA Tour venues, the guys are turning in some very low scores this week. Can we make a charge for another victory in our own backyard? Or will the pressure get to us as we tumble on day 2? Let's jump over to our starter and get this week 8 day 2 round underway on the Muskrat Link Sim Tour. And now, for our 9.30 tea time, currently tied for 5th at 5 under par, from New Hampshire, Tyler Gothier. Thank you. Thanks everybody. Let's get one done today. First drive of the day is absolutely piped. Look at this thing. Center of the club face. Should be center of the fairway. Oh, that is an absolute bomb. That's going to be a short look into this par 4. 76 yards left here, pin in the very back. Looks like it's on a little bit of a hill too, which is going to help us. Smidge of left to right up by the hole, so we'll just tap a little bit left and see if we can get our distance right. We've got the new wedges as well that we've gone ahead and repaired. If you guys saw that video, we posted it recently of doing some work on these wedges, but we'll see how they do for us today. I like the contact. It's a bit deep though. Spin off the hill a little bit for me. Nah, a little too much. That was pretty smooth though. I like that. So, all right, let's get this little chip up and down. Tough little chip here. Eight yards right to left downhill. We just want to focus on getting this close to the hole. Yeah, we'll play it out to the right and aim for more kind of a, a drip speed here. Descent. Settle in there. Settle, settle, settle. Beautiful chip. All right, we will take that par on the first. That's better than we did in round one. Round two off to a good start. Hole number two is a 512 yard par five up here. Definitely reachable, but a lot of trouble. We just wanna stay down the center of the fairway, aim for this little stripe in the middle that divides the fairway. Um, yeah, let's just see if we can keep this one in play. Oh no, we pulled this one left. It's gonna land right in the center of this pond, the river. Oh no. 
That is not good. We yanked that thing right. Now we're gonna have to see where we need to drop. Yanked it left. Don't even know my lefts and rights. Okay, we found a little drop spot right here. Let's take it and we'll see what we got to work with. Well, we're gonna have to take our medicine here. I think we can punch out and sort of get this down a little bit just to the tip of this thing. We need 151 yards. That will leave us about 160 in. I don't think we're gonna mess with trying to carry this stream at all. So let's just take a little, uh, let's take a little pee wedge and get up and out of here. Up and out of the crap, back onto the green fairway. It is gonna be tough to make par, but we're gonna have to do it the hard way if we want it on this hole. 190 yards left here with a pin in the back as usual. So it's probably about 170 to the front. Let's just check on that. Yeah, 170 to the front. That's really where we wanna be. We don't wanna go long off the back here. So I think I'm gonna take a six iron and see if I can run one up the front. Good looking six iron. It's doing exactly what we wanted it to. Landing just over the front. Bounce down there. Okay, that's really good distance control. We are gonna have a look for par here after all that. That would be huge for us. Well, eight feet left here from 190 yards out. Looks like we do have to give the hole away, but just a little bit. Let's see if we can roll this thing in for par. It's going, it's got a chance, stay up. Oh, just misses the lip. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to get our putting dialed in if we wanna succeed today. That's a bogey, on to hole three. Next up is a 184 yard par three here. Pin is at the back. I think we hit six iron last time on this hole and it worked pretty well for us. So we're gonna try that nice feathery six one more time here. That's really good shot shape for that feathery six. Go ahead, bounce up there, get a little bit more. All right, it's a green in regulation. It's definitely not the closest shot we've ever seen. I caught it a little bit thin, but it'll work. Just a 54 footer. 54 footer here, we're so far back, we're actually off the grid, so we don't know what it does at the beginning. Looks like it's left to right the whole way though, so realistically it's a little downhill, so we really, really just wanna leave this one anywhere close to the hole. I would love just one putt here. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what we got for pace here. The line looks pretty decent actually. Go a little, settle right there. That's gotta be inside of six feet. That is perfect speed. That's gonna leave us one over through three and let's see where that puts us on the leaderboard. That bogey brings us to four under on the entire tournament, which leaves us tied for 10th. We are still well within striking distance of our goals today. Hole four is a 404 yard par four here. Let's see, it is... 250 to this tree you see on the left side here in the middle of this bunker. We can probably just about carry it today. We've been playing that fade today. So let's aim just up the left side and see if we can hit this fairway. <laughs> Little too spinny there. We faded that quite a bit. Hopefully we stay away from this tree right in front of us. Give me a look. Give me a look. That might be a look. We'll see what we get. Ooh, I'm not sure what we want to do here. 136 tree immediately to our left looking pretty scary. We might be able to get up and over. It's tough to say if we can go up fast enough to get over that second tree but not clip the branches of this first tree. I think it's probably worth the risk. It's gonna be a pitching wedge anyway. So I think I'm just gonna try a hard pitch, kind of hoist one up there and see if we can get something down by the green. Oh, we just clipped the edge of the tree branches. It's bounding down there. Okay, that's not a terrible result for a ball we essentially just bladed. I tried to lean back too much to hoist it and I just hit the middle of the ball, so. All right, not the worst result, I guess. 52 yards left here. I would love to stick this one tight so I have a nice little tap in par. Left to right down by the hole. We don't really wanna mess with the edge, so we'll aim just up the left side there. See if we can just get our distance good. Go, 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 kick left for me, kick left, maybe? Oh, uh, that's not the approach we were looking for. I kind of block pushed it out to the right. Yeah, that's, you can see the data. Certainly chippable inable, nine yards left here, maybe a hair left to right down towards the hole. So we'll aim just a smidge off to the left, but hey, let's try to chip this thing in. Hit the stick, hit the stick for me. In the heart, let's go. Huge par save on this hole. That feels good to get a chip in under the belt of this new 58 onto the next one. Could be a round saver right there. Next hole is a 401 yard par four here. We are gonna aim up the left side. I wanna try not to slice this one across the entire fairway this time. So let's see if we can keep it straight. Yeah, put a little toey draw on that one, actually. Not the worst drive in the world. It's not gonna go super far because I got it off the toe, but that's not a bad result. We will take that good approach into this par four. 124 yards left, three feet downhill, tree in our way. I don't know if that's gonna play a factor here. I might actually try to play kind of a punch draw here, actually, to try to get around this tree. That's something I don't normally do, so I'm gonna aim out to the right, try to hit kind of a low punch draw pitching wedge and see if we can dial one in there, really finesse the shot shape on this one. 
That's what we were looking for. Is it the right number? Oh, that is so good. Even if it's gonna go past the pin a little bit, that is such good execution on the shot that we want in here. I love being able to kind of like paint those shots exactly how you want. So that's an approach that feels really good. Now we get a birdie look. Well, we didn't leave ourselves the best look here. It's uphill though, which is nice, but it's breaking about seven feet, which is not nice. So let's toss this marker out there and just see if we can get this one close to the hole. I barely hit that putt, that needs to go. Hopefully that's inside of six feet. I do not wanna to have to putt that again. Hold right there, give me the six feet, please. Don't make me putt this, oh, six feet. It's gonna make me putt this, please don't. Let's just go to the scorecards, we're all friends here, home course advantage. Yes, thank you, we'll take that. No sweat bar, never a doubt. All right, I am done messing around. It's time to get some birdies on this scorecard. 502 yard par five here, downhill. Carrying this first bunker is 240, carrying the second bunker is 280. So I'm gonna go straight and if we draw it a little bit, great. If we fade a little bit, fine. Let's just try to rip this one. That drive is smoked. Not the greatest launch angle, but that is flying down there, carrying 275 yards. That one's gonna get out past 290. What an absolute beast. After that monster drive, we've got 211 yards left here to a pin in the back left. It's kind of calling for a draw again, so I think I'm gonna to try to play that same shot shape I did with the pitching wedge, except this time it's gonna be with a four iron. Let's see what we can do. Oh, that is such a pure four iron. I absolutely cranked that thing. That's gonna be over the green, but that is a huge four iron from me. Wow, we will take that every day of the week, a four iron that carries 211. I didn't even feel that ball come off the face. Well, we are chipping for eagle now, 11 yards down the hill quite a bit. We just wanna get this one to settle in by the hole. We got some left to right in it. It's not all that different than the chip we chipped in last time. We just have to kind of get the speed right and the angle correct. All right, let's give this a run. Settle, head down to the right, curl, curl, curl. Oh, I think it's gonna be outside of six feet though. Yeah, that's probably like seven feet. Let's see what it gives us. Seven feet. All right, we're putting for birdie. We're doing it the hard way. I said we were gonna birdie this hole. This is about as good a look as we can get. Up the hill a little bit, just right outside the right edge, I think. We can be nice and firm. Let's go ahead and send this one to its home. Confident roll, right in the back of the cup. Let's go. We are on the birdie train. Let's keep it rolling. On to the next one. That birdie brings us back to even on the day. Five under on the tournament. Tied for 10th, we're hanging out there with the big guns. Let's keep it going. 369 yard par four up here. It is 245 to carry this bunker, so I'm not super concerned with that. Let's just see if we can hit another fairway here and give ourselves a look in. Left looks like it's gonna be better given that pin location. <laughs> Faded that one off a little bit. I kind of hit that one high on the face again. I'm, I'm launching these balls up quite a bit. Well, we're probably gonna get blocked out by the tree. Maybe we'll have an angle, we'll see. Oh, we got plenty of room here, inches even. 117 yards into this flag. Green is kind of running away from us right to left as well. This is gonna be tricky. This is one we're just gonna kind of aim for the center of the green, try to get our distance right and stay out of the bunkers. Ooh, pull that one to the right. It probably is gonna find the bunker. Oh, no, oh, it stays out. All right, well, that wasn't the best shot out of the 50 degree there. I didn't quite catch it flush, so. All right, now we've got some work to do for par. Tricky, tricky here. We've got a lot of rough to go over, and then the pin is just sitting barely on the front of this green here. Right to left as well. Oh, man, this is, this is really hard, especially on a simulator. Some shots are easier in real life than they are on a simulator, and this is one of them. We have to land this just in the rough and just hope that it bounces out and trickles up onto this green. So let's aim there and see what happens. Be good. Oh, it needed the extra few inches. Dang it. It's kind of what I was expecting to happen though. If we go any more than that, it's probably just whizzing by the hole down the hill. So, all right, let's chip this thing in. Six yards left here. Big right to left swinger downhill. So it's gonna release down towards the hole. We'll aim just outside the right and let it trickle. Be good. Oh, it could be, oh, it checks up just in front of the pin. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate. I thought it would release down the hill a little bit more, but that's gonna be a bogey for us. We were kind of trapped on a drive, couple mediocre shots, that's what happens. 185 yard par three up here, 11 feet uphill, pin is tucked in the back right, which is probably good for us playing a fade. So we are gonna aim for the center of the green and see if we can catch that six iron real nice again. Six iron is up, it's on the way. It needs to go a hair to clear this mound. Come on, baby. No, stay up there. Oh, at least we didn't end up down in the bunker. I hit that pretty well, but I don't think it was the, uh, the right club in the end. So, all right, let's see what we can do. 
Well, we're not making it easy today, that's for sure. 12 yards left here, up the hill, short-sided again. Luckily, there's no break here, so if we can keep it on line, we actually have a chance. It's up, it's on the way, it trundles up the hill, and that is a beautiful shot. Little tap in par for us. All right, on to hole number nine. Hole number nine is a 381 yard par four, pretty open for driving. Pin looks like it's in the back left, so off to the right is probably for the best. Yeah, I think we'll just try to see if we can keep one in the fairway here. I might even hit like a little fairway finder guaranteed fade up the left side, bring it back to the right. I think that's the smart play. <laughs> Trying to work its way back. It didn't fade as much as I thought it would. Are we gonna catch any of this fairway? Nah, we get a kick to the left, but I think we're still open. Let's see if we can approach this green. 116 left here. Out of the heavy rough, pin is yeah just in a terrible position for where we are. I don't trust that gap wedge to make it over the bunker, so I think I'm just going to hit a P wedge. Maybe I'll even try to draw one in again. I don't know. Eh, now let's try to hoist it up and go light and airy on this P wedge, see what we can do. We hoisted it up right into the bunker. Man, we're not playing some good golf today, but we're kind of just squeaking by. We need a sand save here to get our par. It is fairly flat, so that's good. A little bit of left to right in it. So we'll aim a little bit off the left here. And again, we really just want to make sure we get this close enough to give ourselves a look at par. Up and out, hit the stick. Oh, almost landed it in the jar. We got a little too much juice on that one though. So now we'll have a tricky putt for par. Yeah, not the best look here. 13 feet left, big right to left breaker. Luckily, it's pretty flat, so we don't have to worry too much about speed. We just got to match up this distance and break. Feels like right about there seems good to me. Let's give this a shot. Oh God, I crushed that putt. Please hit the cup. Ah, just around back. I need to hit that a little softer. I knew I hit it too firm. So that's another bogey. I think that puts us at what, two over for the front or something like that. We'll see what that leaves us on the leaderboard. After the front nine, we have fallen to three under and tied for 22nd. Let's see if we can get our act together and string some good golf together on the back nine. It is time to turn this round around. 367 yard par four here. Looks really good for my eye. What is it? 220 to these, 260 to these rocks up there. We are just gonna go ahead and rip at this with the driver, see if we can find the fairway and launch one down there. All right, cross your fingers. Let's send this one flying. We launched it up. It's heading for the rocks. Get through the trees and give me a kick right. We got through the trees. Run down there. Go, 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 go. Oh, I don't know if that's gonna give us a look. That's gonna be so close. All right, let's see what we're dealing with. Well, this is certainly gonna be a recovery shot. We just have to punch this down the hill. We do not wanna mess with the trees. Almost gotta putt this down the hill, to be fair. Oh man, it's gonna to be tough to get this anywhere near the hole. 97 yards, but we're basically putting it. All right, let's take a four iron, I guess, and see if we can get the speed right. Get through, we hit the trees, get down there, get running. Oh, that's actually looking pretty good indeed. We will take that 10 times out of 10. Great shot to keep that low and at least under the branches. Now we've got to look at bird. We haven't had too many birdie looks today. This one doesn't look horrible. 20 feet left here, right to left, running away from us a little bit past the hole. So we do have to make sure we get the speed right. Yeah, it's not breaking too much. I think I like it right about here and we'll see if we can just let this one creep in. Is this the roll we needed? It looks pretty good. Go, 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 go. Oh, just trickles away at the last second. But hey, we'll take that from where we were off the tee. Par on hole 10. Next up, we've got a par three, 151 yards. Pin is nicely in the center. Not a lot of green to work with though. We need to make sure we carry this all the way though. We need to carry this 140 at least. So I think it's just gonna be a nice firm nine at the left side of the screen and let it work its way back. Pulled that one pretty far left, didn't do it any favors. If I'd hit it straight, it would have been the number, but hey, it's a green in regulation on a semi-tricky par three, so let's see if we can roll the rock. Pretty tricky 38-footer here. Big left to right swinger, so we just wanna make sure this one dies into the hole. It's tough to get the speed right on these really long breaking putts, so we'll just lay it up there somewhere and see if we can hit this one true. Is that the right speed? The line doesn't look terrible, you know. Ooh, speed is pretty good. We will take that. Another little tap in par for us here. Doing better on the back. Time to get back into the birdies here. I do not want any bogeys on this back nine. 530 yard par five up here next. Let's see if we can keep our drive straight. Yeah, we got about 260 to this bump out right here. So that's about where we want to aim it. 
That is very much sliced. I almost missed that golf ball. That's about the worst drive we've had in a while. Bouncing into the woods. Well, we'll see what we got left here for a recovery shot. Well, I'm seeing a gap there up in the trees. Can we hit one low? Yeah, don't mind that giant birch tree now obscuring our view. I wanna hit one low to the left of that first tree. We just need to get it out and give ourselves a look over the swamp for the next one. So we do not wanna hit it any more than like 140 yards, even 150 starting to push it. So let's see if I can give you guys a better look here again. So we wanna aim kind of just in this V up here is where we're aiming. See if we can get one out there. That's what I'm going for. We'll see if it works anyway, so. Are we out? Who knows, I'm not going very far. Get a kick out of there. Okay, that'll work, that will work. We definitely got hung up on some branches there. We didn't get the full effect of that shot, but yeah, 172, we've got to look in. 172 yards remaining here, up over the water. Pin is at the back, so we need 163, 165 to cover this bunker. Hmm, what do we have for an angle here? I kind of want to work a draw again. It just did so well for me earlier. I think I want to work a draw and see if I can run one back there. It kind of takes the bunkers out of play a little bit. So I'm going to aim right there and try to draw seven iron. That is a nicely worked draw. I overdrew it a little bit, but that made the distance absolutely perfect. What a great approach shot there. We are going to have a look at birdie if it holds. Okay, that might not be a green in regulation, but it's a look at birdie. Hmm, what would you guys do in this situation? I think the answer is putt it. So that's what I'm going to do here. Right to left, except it's going down a hill past the hole. I do not want to end up down there. That's going to be tricky. So we need to add just a hair if we putt this. Let's see, what does it say for putting? 23 feet. Yeah, that's a bit scary. I think I'm going to putt this 20 feet, actually. Aim it out to the right just a little bit. Yeah, and to see if we can get this one close to the hole. Right there seems good. I like the speed go a little bit. Oh, that wasn't good. I actually got hung up more in the rough than I thought it would. I think that's outside of six feet. Yeah, seven feet, not ideal. The fringe is a little hairier. I guess I couldn't really feel that on the simulator, whatever. Seven foot left here, just a little right to left. We obviously know this pucks. We kind of just had it. I think it's just outside the right edge and let's go ahead and drop this thing home. Be good, be good, it's good. All right, another nice safe par, on to the next one. Short little par four up here next, 332 up around the corner. We can't go much more than 239 though, otherwise we're off the front of this cliff face. So I think we're just gonna take a nine wood, try to rip it and see how close we can get to the edge. Really nice nine wood there, good ball flight, carrying out 180. Come on, get over that ridge for me a little bit. Ah, it didn't run out as much as I thought, a little bit uphill. We'll have a long approach in, but we will have an approach. All right, it's time to stick one. We haven't done this all day today. 130, 12 feet downhill, playing about 125, pin in the front, left to right fade with the Muskrat Link special pitching wedge. Let's go ahead and drop this tight. Overfaded it a little bit, but the distance control is spot on there. We will take that every day of the week. Putt for birdie, let's drop this thing. We haven't had much to cheer about this round so far. Maybe now is the time, right to lefter, up the hill, wants us to hit it 30 foot for a 21 foot putt. That means we can kind of charge at this one. We got a little bit more break in the beginning than we do in the end. So I think we'll start it right there, send it on its way and see if we can get this one close. A little firm, hopefully it hits the cup. Hit it for me. Yes, indeed. Right in the back of the cup with authority. We've got a final birdie here. Let's keep it going. That birdie helps us out quite a bit. We are minus four on the tournament, tied for 13th overall. Let's see if we can make a charge for the top 10 on this last handful of holes. 157 yard, par three up here, eight feet downhill, so it's playing about 150. I think it just needs to be a smooth nine iron. That's a really good pin location for me. We're gonna aim right for the center of the green and let this one fade back towards the hole. Pulled the crap out of that one and chunked it. I think I got a little too excited over that one. That is a very poor nine iron. Disappointing tee shot leaves us 27 yards out of the sand here. Some big left to right. Okay, we can work with that. Splash this one up and out, trying to get it somewhere down near the hole there. Yeah, all right, I think right about there seems good. Sit down, sit down, spin for me, get some spin. Oh, just enough, we're not quite on the green here. That's gonna be a tough look at par. Last time we were on the fringe, I wasn't very happy with the putt, so I think I'm gonna chip this one. Call me crazy, but that's what we're gonna do. We've got some right to left here. I think we need to aim just outside the right. Let it trickle in here. Yeah, if anything, I wanna aim a little bit further left, because if we miss this, we're probably gonna miss it far, and I want that pin to hit this. Be good. 
boom! Easy par save for me there. All right, we're definitely not putting from the fringe anymore. We're chipping every day of the week. That felt good. We're keeping the bogeys away here on the back by the skin of our teeth. 375 yard par four up here, up to a ridge that leads down to the water, which is 258. I think we are kind of forced to hit a four wood here because we do not want to go over that ridge. Slice through it again. That's a dangerous cart path. Let's take it easy. 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 Where are we going? Oh my, that is going to be trouble for us. Let's see what we've got to work with. Okay, this is, this is not good. This is some recovery shot we've got here. Luckily, the stream isn't really in play. The question is, how much are these tree branches going to affect the shot? I think we just need to low hood something pretty hard. It'll get knocked down. Maybe it bounces up towards the green. 119 yards left in. All right. Uh, I guess I'm going to go that four iron again and just low hood it and see what happens. Oh, no. We hit a branch. Where did we go? Oh, no. That is just some terrible luck here. All right. We've got some work to do if we want to keep this round bogey free. We need to stick this thing tight. I think we're up and under the trees, though I don't think they're gonna be an issue. So it's just a matter of getting this back up onto that ridge. You see all those red lines at the front of the green there. That's what we have to get up and over. So I think we wanna fly it just beyond those and let it kind of spin and stop towards the hole. All right, this is a shot we need to execute. We're up. We need to go a little bit. I don't think that's gonna make it up the ridge. Get up there. No, the ridge rejects it. All right, now our mission changes to two putt for bogey. All right, we've got some right to left this one as we head up the ridge. Continues to be right to left down towards the hole. It leans back. 71 foot putt. Oh my God, we have to crank this thing. Okay, you know what I'm going to do here, guys? I do not want to smack a putt 71 feet. We are breaking out the chipper. We are going the St. Andrew special here. We're chipping up this ridge to get it out of play. And then we're going to let this trickle down back towards the hole. So, all right, here we go. 58 degree to just clear this ridge. Oh, uh, okay, that was not the smartest play we've ever had. Well, we are pretty much officially throwing this round now, so we need to drain this to have any chance of having a sniff of the top 10. So big right to left breaker here, back uphill, 23 feet. I'm gonna play through most of the break to be fair, so I think right there is probably pretty good. With the putter, of course. Let's give this a run with the putter, the club you use on the green. We gave it a run, needs to turn. Oh, I did not deserve to make that putt at all. That was one of the most undeserved bogeys of all time, but all right, we'll take it on to the next one. We're still in this thing. That hole hit everything. Oh, sorry, forward. Well, we've got some ground to make up now, but this is the hole to do it. 466 yard par five. If we can rip a fade up and over the trees here, we'll be in pretty good shape. So we are gonna go for the aggressive line starting it just out over these trees and letting it rip back as much as we can. So that is cleared up and over by quite a bit. I think I might've faded that a little bit too much. Give me a kick. Where are we? We're in the trees. We're, we're in the tree. We're literally in the tree. The squirrel owns the ball now. Well, here is what we're looking at. We are looking at an absolute forest of trees to get through. Maybe I just hit like driver stinger off the deck. I mean, that's kind of what this round's come to here. 206 yards left in here. I don't know if I can avoid, oh my gosh, and it goes right to left as well. Okay, this is about the scariest shot I've seen in a while. Maybe we just play it safe and try to punch one out and roll it down there as low as we can. Whoa! Got screwed by the first bounce glitch a little bit there, but I think it's gonna work out okay for us. Yeah, I mean, that's just as good as anything else we could have done. The game's the game. Well, after all that mayhem, we now have a 165 yard approach into this par five, asking for a draw and I'm gonna give it to it. Why not? We've been doing this the entire day. Big ridge in the middle there. You can see it kind of going right to left, working its way down. We definitely wanna be on this side of the ridge. So, I mean, maybe I'll just try to hit one straight. Is that crazy? Just hit a straight golf shot? All right, 165. It's up there, it needs a bounce. Hit the fairway, kick down there. Roll, buddy, roll, roll, like your life depended on it. Well, that's gonna be a pretty insane birdie putt, but we will work with it. 46 foot is what it's looking for us to hit this 53 foot putt. We've got a nice ridge in the middle there. The good news is we can pretty much aim this as far right as we want. Like I could hit it here and it would work fine. I could hit it here and it would work fine. So it really doesn't matter where we aim this thing. So we'll go for there, why not? Let it play off the ridge. Actually, we're having a fun round today. Let's play it all the way off this ridge. 
let's really showcase our skills here and see what we can do. This is going to be really, really tough to get anywhere by the hole, but all right, let's, uh, let's see what we can do. The circus putt is up. It's on the way. It's hitting the ridge. It's heading back down towards the hole. It needs to settle. Hit the hole. I'm the best golf player out here. I tell you what, I am the best simulator golf player on the planet. Come at me. Woo! It was off the green if it missed though, so thank goodness it hit the cup. Holy cow. What a round. Despite that crazy birdie putt there, we slip a little bit tied for 20, four under on the tournament. We need to string together a couple birdies here if we want a top 10. 395 yard par four here, a little uphill. We really need to keep the driver straight. The driver's been letting us down today. So if we just hit a fairway here, I will be very, very happy. <laughs> Block push that one pretty far right. Not fady though, but again, we haven't hit a fairway in a long time. Stay left of that tree. Okay, right of the tree. Maybe we can work with that. Well, we kind of have an angle here, 129 yards, but this is gonna take some magic. I'm gonna aim out to the left here. We're gonna split these trees with a big old slice. See if we can get one down to the green. What can we hit? We have to keep it kind of low. I think it's gonna be a eight iron punch slice down towards the green. Yeah, a little eight iron banana running right past the right edge of that bunker is gonna be what I want. What do they call this shot? Eight iron punch slice banana? I feel like that's a dessert because this shot's gonna be tasty. Eight iron punch slice banana. Okay, that's pretty good. That's exactly what I was looking to do. I didn't quite hit it hard enough though. We'll take that for a recovery shot. We cannot screw around with this one though. 23 yards left. This needs to be inside of tap in range if we want any hope of walking out of here with a respectable score. Looks fairly easy though. What is it doing by the hole? Little downhill, little uphill, so that's pretty good. Just gotta get the speed right. I like that look. Roll down there. Oh, it doesn't quite release as much out of the rough. It's gonna be a long par putt, but let's see if we can drain it. 13 feet left here, a little bit uphill, so it's asking for 14. Left to right, these are always tough ones to read. You can never really tell how much to put them out to the left. That seems pretty good, though. I don't think this is gonna break a ton. This feels like it's just gonna creep in the right edge. I like this. Be good. Oh, it needs to go. I left it a little short. Ah, all right. That's a bogey, bit disappointing, two holes to go. One hole to go? One, one hole to go. With that bogey, we drop down to tied for 27th. Let's see if we can get that back on the 18th and scoop up some points from this round at Atkinson. Final hole, 353 yard par four here. Let's have some fun on this hole as if you weren't having fun already. 295 to the edge here. Let's see how close to the edge we can get it. 22 feet uphill. I'm gonna absolutely rip at this driver because nothing's staying straight today anyway. We ripped at that one, absolutely swung out of our shoes. Didn't carry too much again because it's so far uphill, but you'll see those ball speed numbers are probably pretty darn good. 280, up the hill, let's hit a green. Yeah, 158 ball speed, that's a lot higher than what I normally run at. 78 left in here, this is a distance we've struggled with in the past, but let's struggle with it no more. We're going right at this, taking dead aim, slight fade, let's punch this close. Caught that a little thin, so it's not quite gonna get up there. Roll for me, release. All right, well, it is a birdie look, so let's see if we can convert on the last hole. 21 foot here, it's looking for 31 feet because we are quite a bit uphill. Not too much right to left in it, actually. I think it's just outside right edge. Maybe right there, little bit of break at the end. I'm actually gonna go back inside that a little bit because I wanna be firm with this putt. All right, come on, one time. Come on, baby, hit the hole. Oh, we just missed the edge. We go past it. Is that five feet though? Feels like five feet. Get me out of here. Five feet. We are out of here. Wave the white flag on this round. All right, let's sign the scorecard and head over to the media tent and answer some questions. not what you expected to shoot today. Where did your game fall short? Yeah, I think it was pretty obvious where we went wrong today. We could not get our driver anywhere near the fairway. I feel like the only fairways we hit were, you know, when we took something else off the tee. So spraying it into the woods does not help. And of course that's gonna hurt our approach numbers as well because we are always in poor positions, not really, you know, in great areas where we could really go for pins. It was always just kind of recovery shots all day. So. 
Uh, chipping around the green though was pretty good. We had a couple chip ins, so that kind of you know fell in nicely with how we normally shoot. Putter was kind of hit and miss. We missed a few that I thought we'd hit, and we also made a few bombs. So I guess it made for a pretty exciting round. Thinking about the season overall, how do you feel with two weeks to go? Uh, with two weeks to play, I don't think we're in a very bad spot. If you would ask me where I thought we'd be at the beginning of the year, I figured we'd be about here. So I'm kind of performing how I expected to perform. We're kind of in it. We got those top 15 spots. We're right there on the cusp to try to get one of those pro tour cards. So it's all to play for in the next two weeks. Are you thinking you're going to use those new wedges next week at Riviera? Yeah, I feel like this week I hit more of a uh, like a turning point. I'm ready to commit to these new wedges. Uh, we had a couple chip-ins, so kind of have that confidence going that I can use them the way I want to. So I think we're going to keep using them moving forward. Uh, Riviera is going to be a very difficult course. We're back to the very fun, exciting, and hard golf courses in the last home stretch here. So we got to make it happen. All right, see you guys next week. As we check in to see how the Pro Tour finished, we feel like we left a few points on the table this week. Could this come back to haunt us if we fall out of the top 15 in the next few weeks? Make sure you are subscribed for this awesome content as next week's tournament is at Riviera and you do not want to miss out. Thanks for tuning in and have fun out there everyone.